What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to another video on Tech Matrix today let's check out how to install the SkyDragon 6.01 Marshmallow ROM on your OnePlus 2 let's get to it let's thank the sponsor of this video Red Wolf these are some awesome t-shirts from Red Wolf, the merchandise partner for Tech Matrix. Check out the kick-ass pop culture inspired designs at redwolf.in. First you'll need to root your OnePlus 2 so check the links in the description or on the top right also I'll leave the video link as well. And uh, going to this uh, link that I'm going to leave, uh, you will find five different uh, rare files to download here. Uh, download all that and put it in a folder for ease of use. And uh, for uh, the G apps, choose the ARM 64 bit, and I chose the micro edition, uh, which I like. So you can choose whichever you want. And inside, you see that there are about five files which you'll need. Uh, all these are needed, just keep them in one folder. So now just to show you I'm going to do settings about phone and uh, currently I'm on the uh, oxygen OS 2.2.0 5.1.1 Android version which is the lollipop and now I'll be rebooting into recovery and going into two up the first thing that you'll need to do is backup backup is very necessary for um, flashing any ROMs <laughs> so just ensure that you do a backup uh, once done wait for it go back again and click on install uh, now you will need to first flash the uh, h2os underscore two up uh, file which will flash the two up uh, latest version of two up that is the 3.0 now click on swipe to confirm flash once done it will take a bit of time just hold on be patient it will reboot to two up 3.0 like this and here you'll need to wipe first so go into click wipe and swipe to factory reset here and just in case i'm going to do that again once it's done go back advanced wipe and click dalvi cache cache and data just in case uh, if this didn't work i'm just doing it you don't have to but once done click on swipe to reset and go back and uh, go back again click on install and in the same folder you will see h2os underscore uh, version 2 sorry uh, skydragon underscore uh, hyphen h2os version 2 dot zip click on that and add more zips and uh, click on open g apps here 64 bit that you downloaded and uh, swipe to confirm flash once done it will open up into an aroma installer of skydragon here you'll need to click next right now click next and uh, check the i agree button here and click next and again I click next change log special thanks to again I click next here click on full wipe and then click next and i don't want the htc browser or the op2 browser so i'm gonna just remove these apps you can remove the other stuff that you don't want here and click on next and uh, here click on install on top that is the install button wait for some time it will take a bit of time to load um, about about 10 minutes or 5 minutes just be patient and wait uh, once this is done it will ask for uh, next click on next here and click on finish uh, once you click on finish it will ask to reboot or not you just check a uh, no so that the G apps is uh, installed properly uh, G apps took a lot of time for me so be patient and uh, it will install eventually just be patient now click on a reboot system after it's done and wait for a time and wait for some time basically it will take about again about five to ten minutes it may take longer for you and once done you will be prompted with this welcome screen i'm just going to skip all this and i've used for a couple of days here and uh, just uh, swiping from the bottom you will get this uh, notification settings or tiles and I'm just going into about phone to show you that uh, we have loaded the h2os uh, 6.01 ROM as you see here and from the top if you swipe down it will open up the notification view and also the app notification and just to show you the fingerprint scanner works very fast too and uh, you don't need to press and hold just a tap would probably uh, register the fingerprint neatly 
and also uh, there's this uh, file manager which I allow uh, it kind of collates all the required information on the first screen itself so the audio is there the APKs are there the gallery is right there and almost pretty much uh, everything is right there although I've installed solid explorer you can check out solid explorer as well and uh, also it comes with uh, a kind of a so notification center or so wherein you can uh, remove all the junk uh, clean up all your junk files all the block your phone calls and messages that you don't want junk messages and stuff and also give permissions to apps uh, right from this uh, uh, app itself uh, so it's a nice uh, inclusion but uh, nevertheless I don't use it much and also I have a wallpaper changer here so you can change wallpapers directly uh, uh, with a span of uh, seconds or minutes uh, and also I've installed exposed installer if you don't know what is exposed installer click on the link that I'm gonna leave in the link uh, in the description and also the top right there'll be a video how to install exposed I have gravity box installed which gives you a lot of customization like you see the top uh, green bar for the battery and stuff and uh, just for your reference if you want to go back to lollipop you can't just uh, restore the backup that you did earlier you need to first flash the revert to lollipop zip that I have left uh, the links uh, as well and once that is done you can probably just uh, you know restore the backup after that so that's it guys for now if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and as always uh, subscribe for more such informative videos this is Bharat here signing off